now let us see ng repeat say here i have an array i will name it as b equals to array of numbers now what i can do i want to display those numbers in unordered list i say ng hyphen repeat some variable k in b and here as we know b is your array it will take each element and store it in k and here i'll say list of item as k so i'm displaying k now let me say 5 i get 1 56 78 45 so this is the magic of your ng repeat so with the help of ng repeat i can iterate through list ng click again it is for your button click event if you want you can go for ng click now ng if say i'll copy this now i want to display the list of elements which are greater than 50 that means it should display 56 and 78 so what i can do i want to show this list item ng if k is greater than 50 now let me say control f5 you see that i get two elements 56 and 78 i'll just put an horizontal line here So you see you get 56 and 78 i can use ng if for that now if i want to work with radio buttons so i can go for same input type equals to radio and here i'll say ng model equals to g g is for gender Say this is male same thing i'll copy and paste it here and this is f f is for female now here i'll say value equals to male its value is m and its value is f so whatever i select i want to show it in this expression you have selected gender this so control f5 so i have male and female you have selected male and you have selected female so to make this as mutually exclusive both of these radio buttons should have same model name now for checkbox i'll say input type equals to checkbox so checkbox will have two things true value and false value so here i can use ng hyphen true value ng hyphen false value if it is True, then I want to say okay if it is false value so I want to say no same thing this value I want to store it in a model ng model say I'll name it as C for checkbox or CK
I agree with terms and conditions something so I have a checkbox now here I want to display that value CK so I should put it in single quotations double quotes then single quotation that value double quotes then single quotation that value if I check okay if I uncheck no so this is how you can work with your checkbox now if I want drop down list I can go for select tag and here I can have option and I can apply ng hyphen repeat same k in b for this array b I want to repeat and I'll say value equals to same k selected item is again k everything is same here so I get beautiful drop down list if I want first item to be simply select so I'll say option select first item is select now I can select any value now whatever I select I want to store it in a model again I'll say ng hyphen model and I'll give the name as opt and I want to display that opt O should be in caps it is case sensitive so I have selected the select 1 56 45 now the same thing I'll comment this out I can go with ng options same drop down list I can have it with ng options so I can just say select I'll give some model ng model equals to again opt and here I will say ng hyphen options equals to k in b same thing the only thing that you need to add here is k for k in b say for example my list is list of students what I want I want student ID so k dot ID for k for that student in the list I'll save this control f5 here I get the same values it is working in the same sense so that's it this is all about your simple directives and most of the controls that we use on the form so we use this text box we use radio buttons we use checkbox we use drop down list we use list box for list box symbol I need to say multiple equals to multiple it will become a list box control f5 now I can go for selecting multiple values I can press control and I can select multiple values it is stored in the array so that's it for this video thank you very much